I am back, back in Miami. And of course, where's the first place that I come? Where else than Oz May Perfumery? Here, we got Maurice back there stocking up the latest and greatest. And I'm gonna give you a quick introduction to five new fragrances that came out while I was gone for the last five weeks from Miami. So stay tuned. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. Yes, I'm finally back here in Miami. I was gone for about five weeks and uh, working on some stuff. I'll better talk about it more later. Can't, can't really go over everything now, but it was part vacation, part business, part working on new projects. Great time. Gotta say, I loved LA, loved the weather in the summer. It feels like basically Miami's winter, like mid 70s, low humidity, Went to Venice Beach the other day, the boardwalk, Santa Monica Pier. Ah, I gotta say, great, wonderful time. But I'm back, and I'm back to creating content, and I'm back to creating stuff here for Joel the Nose, and I can't be more excited to be doing that and, and, and introducing you guys to new things. So, let me get right into this video first and foremost. We'll say hi, Maurice. So, back here, man, with my man, and excited. Here he is, all right. so. Let me just give you a few. This is one that I've talked about before because I was part of the, the worldwide, worldwide launch event, but this is Lost Alice, which actually has now just come into the retail stores here in the US. So you can get it here at Osme. Um, and this is, again, if you want to go back, you can look. I have the full review of this. What really stands out for me, this is based on Alice in Wonderland, and kind of the Mad Hatter tea party. So it's almost kind of funky, psychedelic perfume. Really different. It's got black tea, it's got carrot, it's got milk, it's got broom, which is from Italy. So this is one that, oh, it's just such a unique fragrance and another great one from Mosk Milano. And uh, so if you haven't tried this one yet, I highly recommend getting a sample of it, at least trying it out, letting me know what you think. There you go. Next, I have, I'm gonna bring a couple strips here so I can spray it because I haven't had a chance really to smell all these. You know, Lost Alice I obviously had smelled. So this is L'Elegant. I've talked a little bit about this before. Actually, let me show it to you. That would be good. L'Elegant or, yeah, L'Elegant from MDCI Parfums. This is a fragrance that, again, what stands out for me on this one having just smelled it now. Le Elegant. Le Elegant. Le Elegant. So I got corrected. Thank you, Maurice. Le Elegant. <laughs> I thought it was Le, Le, Le Elegant. There you go. See, you learn something new every day. Le Elegant. <clears throat> Excuse me. You've heard me talk French before, and it's not the best. But... This one stands out, what stands out to me, I, first of all, I love MDCI. They're one of my favorite, Fet Passan is one of my favorite fragrances in my collection from these guys. But this has got incense, it's got Divana, it's also got this kind of like, like almost syrupy kind of, not syrupy sweet, but just kind of smooth, creamy honey. And then at the bottom, it goes into this really nice oud, not an overpowering oud. So, you know, if, if you don't like oud fragrances, this is not going to be one that's going to scare you away at all. Try it. If you have, let me know what you think. Again, Le Elegant from MDCI Parfums. My second fragrance. This is, again, <clears throat> one of the newer fragrances that have come out basically in the time since I left and come into the store. So that's what I'm talking about today. All right, next one. One of my favorite houses, okay? Of course, this is BDK. And this is Velvet Tonka, also new. This thing is like flying off the shelves, by the way. This has got a unique almond opening, and then kind of goes in this tobacco. It's got vanilla, a bourbon vanilla, which I love that kind of bourbony alcohol, like, you know, just darker vanilla. And then it's got, of course, Tonka. Let me spray this one. Um, let me get this on one of the scent strips over here, just so. Ooh, it's so bright, that top. It's very, it's almost like shiny. 
If I would describe it in words, I would say this is like a shiny, bright fragrance at the top. And I, I would call this gourmand. I don't know if it's technically a gourmand, but it, it kind of comes across a little bit sweeter and darker and richer. So love BDK, quality house, check it out. <clears throat> Next, we're going to actually two from the same house that have just come out since I've been gone. And this is Damon from Mendy Tarosa, the Italian house. Look at this, look at this presentation, right? This is so unique. Look at the, again, the bottle top there. You see that's like, I don't even know what that is. I guess it looks like an owl on the top for the cap. So cool, all their bottles are so unique. And this one, what stands out to me for all you iris lovers, this has got a beautiful, oh, I mean, if you love iris, this has got to be one you, you, you got to try. Right off the top, tons of iris just exploding on the strip, exploding on your skin, really reaching deep into my nose here. I can also get the hint, like a hint of jasmine, and it's also got kind of a musky sexiness to it. So this one is, is, is also unique because of that combination of the iris and the musk is almost like clean with sexy. Interesting. Love this one, gonna wear this one some more and, and you know, all these I'm gonna wear on my skin and I'll probably do full reviews a little bit later, but I wanna give you a quick introduction of the five fragrances that have essentially been new since I've been gone. Lastly, again, from Mendy Torosa, another new one that has just come in here to Osme, and this is Orlo. What I like about this one, again, of course, another really cool bottle as usual. But what's also cool about this one is I like it's got bitter orange at the top. But it's also got a basil element. I love that kind of greens. It's got this orangey green. But the orange is not sweet. It's not like Neroli or, you know, or orange blossom. It's a bitter orange. And then it kind of drives down to this rum and oud mixture, which gives it, again, this kind of like, you know, alcohol. If you like this type of alcohol, darker fragrances, rum, a little bit spicy, a little bit sweet. So I think this would be a really good summer fragrance also. And so there you have it. Five new fragrances here at Osmade that I've just gotten to smell for the first time today. Very excited about that. Very excited about being back here in Miami and very excited to just keep going forward with you guys and make as many videos as I can to keep introducing you to new fragrances, old fragrances, niche fragrances, and uh, new and exciting stuff coming up for the show, and also some, some new announcements coming up also as far as uh, things I'm going to be doing. But thank you guys for all your support. I'm excited to be back. And um, yeah, I'll be back soon with another video. Peace and love. <laughs>